Away in this Haydock Park traveling the turf race course of the year champion hurdle trial. Collier Bay on the far side just a little bit hesitant at the first and out jumped by Dato Star who goes on here and they're about eight or ten lengths to in defense in third followed two lengths away by Rel Keel in the center and uh, over on the far side blowing wind. Coming to the second, and uh, on the far side there, Collier Bay, just taking closer order for Carl Llewellyn there. He's just uh, anxious for him to get interested in the early stages, and he pushes him up to vie for the lead with uh, Dato Star. And as they come to the third now, Collier Bay on the far side, Dato Star the near side. There are eight or ten lengths then to in defence, and followed then by Rel Keel, and the rank outsider Blowing Wind is the last of the quintet as they race up the home straight the first time. They've got just on a circle remaining. Dato Star just pulling his way into the lead here by two to three lengths to Collier Bay. They're about four or five lengths in advance now of in defence on the near side as they round that corner with a yellow cap. Then in the centre is Rel Keel and then on the inside blowing wind as they head into the back straight in this Haydock Park travelling the turf race course of the year champion hurdle trial. Leader here is Dato Star by three lengths. Two in second place, Collier Bay. They're about five or six lengths then to in defence as they head into the back now. Rel Keel on the outside of Blowing Wind and they've set a very good pace in this uh, these conditions, soft with uh, heavy patches and these heavy patches coming up down the back. Dato Star jumping high and jumping well in the lead by four or five lengths. Collier Bay in second. Two lengths away then in third is in defence and Rel Keel the grey is just behind them. They're four or five lengths to blowing wind. Coming to the fifth, Dato Star jumped that magnificently. About eight lengths in front there of uh, Collier Bay. Rel Keel on the inside is third, followed then by in defence as they continue their journey down the back and a blowing wind behind them. Coming now towards four out. Dato Star out in front here by a good eight lengths. Draws towards it now and flicked over that. Jumped it well. Mistake by Collier Bay. Rel Keel jumped it much the better on the inside and further back in the field is Blowing Wind and they're followed then by In Defence as they race now towards the home, uh, the exit from the back straight now and they've got three flights left to jump in the home straight. Dato Star with this commanding break of about eight or ten lengths. It's Dato Star here for Lorcan Wire. He's already had one winner on the board uh, this afternoon for Malcolm Jefferson. Can he make it two? He rounds the turn now about, ooh, about 12, 15 lengths lengths in front. Collier Bay giving chase in second, followed by Rel Keel, who's hard at work on the far side. They're clear then of blowing wind and further back in defence. Three left to jump. Dato Star about 12, 15 lengths in front as he draws towards three out now. It's Dato Star out in front, draws towards it, jumps it well from Collier Bay. Then Rel Keel behind them and further back is blowing wind, but they've got two left to jump. He steals a peep over the shoulder. Dato Star's well clear. Uh, Collier Bay giving chase in second, followed by Rel Keel, but over the second last. And Dato Star is about uh, 10 or 12 in front. They're not going to catch him now. Uh, further back in second place is Collier Bay, followed then by Blowing Wind. Rel Keel is struggling. One left to jump, though. Dato Star jumps it well. He gave a very polished exhibition here, and he's drawing right away. Collier Bay in second place. Rel Keel struggling over the last. But Dato Star comes up to win this Haydock Park, travelling the turn race course of the year champion hurdle trial in magnificent style it's Dato Star who goes on for a convincing victory under Lorcan Wire wins it by the best part of 15 or 20 lengths in second place is Collier Bay third blowing wind a long gap to Rel Keel who's dropped out rather tamely and a last to finish in defense the winner is number four, Dato Star, owned by Kath Riley, Miss, uh, Mrs. M. Guthrie and Joe Donald, trained by Malcolm Jefferson, ridden by Lorcan Wire, a 9-2 to two winner of this trial. Second is number three, Collier Bay, owned by Wally Sturt, trained by Jim Olden, ridden by Carl Llewellyn. And third is number one, Blowing Wind, owned by Mr. Peter Deal, trained by Martin Piper, ridden by Tony McCoy. Fourth, Rel Keel was a long way behind them and uh, in defence finished last of the five runs. The winner, number four, at 9 to Two. Collier Bay, the even money favourite, was second. And third, Blowing Wind, the outsider at 40.